at this dude. What's poppin', everybody? Welcome back to another video. Oh, hey, man, if you haven't already done so, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Smash the like button, click that bell while you're at it so you can be a part of the post note gang family, best family on YouTube. And that's no cap, hands down. Yeah. <laughs> hey man, we got ourselves another Dark Man video for the day. We got teacher calls child services on bad parent. What happens next is shocking. So I wonder if it was a legitimate bad parent or if the teacher is just mean. <laughs> hey man, we're gonna do less talking, more reacting. Let's dive right into this video. Let go. Are you sure you wanna do this? He's adopting the kids. Okay. Come on. So he just got done adopting them. I'm sorry, it's not much. Um, where do we sleep? Well, Bobby, you and Ocean are welcome to take my bedroom and I'll take the couch. Can I get y'all anything to eat? Do you have some mac and cheese or PB and J or some Takis? No, I'm sorry, but we can go to the store and I can. Yeah, I'm actually surprised that he adopted two children without really being prepared for them. You feel me? I know. We'll go to my garden. Anybody want a tomato sandwich? No. The only thing close to a tomato sandwich I would eat is it's called an Italian grilled cheese. Shout out to my first BM. <laughs> Grandpa. Grandpa, wake up. Hey, kids. Wait. Wake up. Okay, Grandpa. Okay, Grandpa adopted his grandchildren, which means something happened to the kids' as children. Or hey, children's parents. Kids. You already dressed? It's 7 30. We can't be late to our first day of school. No, no, you can't, Ocean. We wouldn't want that. What about breakfast? Breakfast. So he wasn't prepared to take in two children, but obviously he is once again because something happened to the kids' his parents. Raisin Bran? Raisin Bran is good. You kids like Raisin Bran? Ew. No. They like Cemento's Crunch. Okay. How about we stop by McDonald's on the way? Okay. You're not going to change? Mm. Oh, okay, right. We're definitely gonna be late. Okay, here we are. But Grandpa's just trying his hardest, man. Um, you guys have a good day at school. Excuse me. Yes. Just now dropping oh off. Oh my gosh, she always played the Karen role. If you guys be rocking with me, you guys know why I be calling her the Karen. Off. Yes, I am. Sorry about that. I, I haven't done this in a long time. My name is... And I'm assuming this is the teacher that calls child services. Is Ernest Smalling? I, I'm uh, um, Bobby and Ocean's grandfather. Principal Owens. And was that McDonald's I saw the kids have? Okay, it's none of your business for one, lady. Yes. Um, hot cakes and hash browns. Every kid's favorite. Doesn't sound like a very nutritious lunch. Breakfast, actually. I didn't even think about their lunch. Shoot. Man, I swear, if I ever end up in this situation where I get questioned like this by the principal teacher or anything, bro, I'm not the type to hold back. I'm gonna say what's on my mental. You feel me? <laughs> Boss. I'm sorry, I have to take this, but I promise they won't be late again. Uh, hello? Yes. Yes. I'm on my way now. Thank you, sir. 
He's trying his hardest, man. Like, yeah. Oh, he, yes, sir. I'm outside. I'm on my way in right now. Sorry. Oh, hey, Miguel. Um, I uh, wanted to apologize to you for being late. Um, my grandkids recently moved in with me, and it's been tough. We all have personal lives, but that doesn't make it okay to disregard our personal responsibilities, does it? No. See, I would not be able to stay on the boss like that. If you can't be empathetic, sympathetic towards your 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 coworkers, employees, whoever, like, bro, why do you do what you do, bro? No, it doesn't. You're right. And I apologize. Okay. Uh, Miguel, I was wondering, is it possible for me to get an advance on my check, please? Hey, I picked up some groceries on my lunch and brought them. You got mac and cheese and PB and J and cinnamon toast crunch? I sure did. What would you guys like to eat? Can you make us mac and cheese with fries? Fries. Actually, I can. Uh, there's some potatoes in the garden and you guys can help me pick them. Come on. got to give the grandpa credit in regards of because i'm sure all of this was on a spare of the moment like i said i don't know what happened to the parents of the kids but obviously something happened where it was just thrown at him you feel me and he took the responsibilities of taking him under his wing wow you planted all these mm -hmm. gardening is my passion it always has been what happened to this plant grandpa well looks like Pests got a hold of that one. You know, little bugs and such. So it's just dead now? Nope, that's the magic of gardening. Gardens are resilient. They face different challenges like bad weather, pests and diseases, but they can bounce back from those hard times just like humans can. That sounds like something dad used to say. Yeah, he say it's not about how many times you fall, but how many times you get back up? That's big facts, no cap. That's exactly right, Ocean. Now, right over there is the potato plant. You can tell that it's ready for harvesting because the vine is completely died. Watch. See that? Now, isn't that a beauty? You know so much about plants, Grandpa. How come you don't teach gardening? Oh, I don't know. That would be definitely a good hobby for him. Instead of working at that retail store with a horrible boss, you could just tell the boss is horrible, bruh. That sounds nice. And I'd much rather do that than work at Bullseye, that's for sure. But I don't know how to get into that. All right, let's go make French fries. Grandpa, time to get up. Morning, kids. Breakfast and lunch are ready. Cinnamon toast crunch? Dad used to draw smiley faces on our lunch bags, too. Well, I wonder where he got that from. <laughs> Man, I want to know what happened. We're making good time, guys. Not only will we be on time, we're gonna be... Damn. I swear, it's always something. If it's not one thing, it's another. I swear. Life be life in some time. Uh, Principal Owens, I'm sorry that they're late again. But you see, my car wouldn't start this morning, and and we had to. We ended up taking the bus all the way here. It doesn't matter now. They've missed everything. Uh, I don't huh? follow. School let out at eleven thirty. Today was a half day for placement testing. Didn't you read your calendar? The calendar. Uh, where would I find that? Online. And if you paid attention, like the other parents, she should not be the principal, bro. She does. She clearly doesn't know how to talk to people. 
would know that. They have missed their exams. Children, can you give your- Only the second day of school for the kids. For them, at least, you feel me? Like- Grandpa and I a moment, please. <sighs> Mr. Smalling, taking care of children requires great responsibility and awareness. I'm responsible. Are you? Because yesterday, in the cafeteria, Bobby and Ocean had nothing to eat. So I purchased their lunch out of my own pocket. I am so sorry. How, how much do I owe you? Well, actually, would it be okay if I paid you after the weekend? Um, again, I'm really, really sorry. Sir, that is not the point. You are always late. Sometimes you forget to feed them, and you don't have any money. Are you sure you are fit to take care of these children? Yes, I am. I am fit. That's one thing being the principal and concern for the children's well-being, but there's an appropriate way on how you talk about it to the parents, grandparents, whoever is taking care of the kids. This is inappropriate on how you're talking to this man. Oh. I really have to get to work, um, but I promise you, I will have them here on time tomorrow with lunch. We can't stay home by ourselves. What are we gonna do now, Grandpa? He's gonna try to take the kids to work and then the boss is about to have a heyday. Mm. How about you guys come to work with me today? Not gonna be a good idea. Ernest, what time did you clock in? I know, I know, I was late, really late, and I'm sorry. But, you, you know, my car broke down this morning, and I, I just... What did I tell you the last time? Hmm? That personal issues aren't a reason to disregard your professional responsibilities. This is your second strike. I understand. One more slip up, and you know what that means. their kids here this isn't a daycare miguel actually these are my grandkids they missed school today and i brought them here i hope it's okay i was gonna tell you get your things and go you're fired Damn. pick up your last check from hr come on I, I i really need this job just go i would not be able to work for someone like that man like Let's go home, yeah, kids. man. Always feeling like you gotta walk on eggshells like that. And I get it. Bringing your kids to work is very unprofessional. Like, that is something he should have, you know, talked to the boss man about. But at the end of the day, if, especially if you know you got a boss like that, that it wouldn't fly. You feel me? Honestly, you're better off calling out sick. <sighs> Shoot. What's wrong, Grandpa? Uh, Grandpa's got to find a new job, but I'm not having any luck. Well, why are you looking at a newspaper? Nobody reads those anymore. Yeah, only old people. Okay, so how do people nowadays find jobs? They don't. They get rich off of YouTube by making content. <laughs> Which you can totally do. You can make videos on gardening. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. You know, I left my nine to five job coming up to coming up on three years now that I pursued YouTube full time, and it's a blessing, no cap. So if you guys have a dream, a goal to become a YouTuber, do it. It's worth it. Actually, yeah, Ocean's right. I barely know how to use my flip phone. I I I don't know how to make videos. Well, them kids are gonna teach you. I, I'll stick to my newspaper. But you have us. We can help you. That part. We can record with my iPad. Look at all these gardening videos. Some of them have lots of views. And you can make lots of money, too. Well, I don't think so. I'm, I'm getting old. Plus, I don't know anything about teaching. What? Gardens are resilient. They face different challenges, bad weather, pests. They're using your own words against you, my boy. And diseases. You have no choice at this point. Back. You kids remembered all that? Yeah. What do you think? We're dumb? Kids are sponges. 
They remember a lot more than you think. See? You're a good teacher. You taught us, so please, pretty, pretty, please, can you make a YouTube video? Please? Well, what the heck? What do I have to lose? I was about to say the same thing. There is nothing else you can really lose. You just got to stay consistent. You got to pump out them videos. You feel me? And if you're going to do uh, gardening videos, just be on top of it. I mean, it takes time. Don't get me wrong, because it took me a couple years before I was able to quit my 9-to-5 job to pursue YouTube full time. So just keep that in mind. It doesn't come overnight, for real. <laughs> Grandpa had no idea how to make money with YouTube. But he was willing to learn. I didn't know either at first. Hi I guys. just had to learn. Welcome to the learn as you go. Episode of right. And I'm Grandpa. I tend to turn it down when the music is overpowering like that, especially if there's no talking going on. They staying consistent with it. Look at that. Literally, there is a there is an avenue, f uh, a lane for anything on YouTube. There is an audience for everything. It doesn't matter what you like. You could be, you could you could be obsessed with toilet paper and you collect toilet paper for a living. I guarantee you, make a YouTube channel. There's other people around the world that's just as interested in toilet paper as you, bro. Like. You can literally make any type of content. Well, not any type of content, if you know what I mean, but. Look at that. 256 views. See, it starts somewhere. Look how much money you made. Okay, okay. Wow, 6,000? <laughs> That's more than I get paid at Bullseye. And it's a little over exaggerated. Obviously, it's just the video, it's a Dark Man video, but it, once again, it doesn't come overnight like that. It takes time and it takes effort. You feel me? You can't just upload a few videos and boom, you're a success. It doesn't work like that. But if you stay consistent, so really you work hard, you'll get there. Mm. How about we go to the mall and I get you guys something nice? Would you like that? Yeah. But. You don't get the money right away. You have to wait a month. Yeah. A month? Oh no. I, I don't think I could do that. Let me get this. Yes? My name is Alicia F. Whitaker and I'm from Child Protective Services. May I come in? Um, is something wrong? Well, there was and you have no choice but to let them people in or else they get the police involved. For, Trust, I, I, and so I know. Report. Who would do something like that? Well, I can't discuss that information. They can't. Um, this won't take long. I, I just want to look around. Is that okay? Thank you. Hi, honey. You must be Ocean. What you making there? Ooh. That pot is a bit hot. I think maybe we should have a grown-up like Grandpa stir, okay? I only let her stir after the fire is out. I never let her by the stove when Are it's on. Are you currently employed, Mr. Smalley? I'm in between jobs. Uh, self-employed. But I'm starting to have some income come in. Just starting. You gotta start somewhere, lady. So, sounds like right now you don't have any income. Well, it, it hasn't gotten into the bank Do you right get the kids baths regularly? They seem a little dirty well of course they take baths we were out working in the garden and that's how they got dirt on their clothes so you make them do manual labor lady i swear bro i, I kid you not cps they be on some weird bs sometimes bro. manual labor what Wait. are you talking about um ocean bobby and i want you guys to go put your shoes on okay wait oh you got me Duh, bro. I see that's never happened to me. Like my kids actually being taken from me type ish like that through CPS. But if that was to happen, you would have to get the police involved because you ain't taking my key. <laughs> What's going on here? I'm sorry, Mr. Smalling. Based on this report and everything that I've witnessed here tonight, I'm afraid I'm have to proceed with a, an emergency removal of both children. What? Grandpa, we don't want to go with her. Yeah, we want to stay with you. Uh 
don't you guys worry. You aren't going anywhere. They are leaving here. They're staying here with me. You have no idea what these kids have been through. Mr. Yeah, we still don't even know what happened to their parents. It's fine. You can do this the hard way or the easy way. I, I really don't want to have to call the police. Well, first you need to call your supervisor to get approval that you're allowed to do that, lady. And this isn't enough. For Don't you. you guys worry. Grandpa's gonna get you back real soon, okay? Now, go and get your shoes on. Because they got dirt on their clothes because they're in the garden. Come on. Be life and for real, man. this happen these kids have been so much i can't cause them any more pain what can i do well soon you'll have what's called an adversary court date now if you can prove that you're capable of providing for their basic needs you have a pretty good chance of regaining custody bring whatever evidence proof of income stuff like that i got fired from my job the only other income i had coming in was because of them then i don't know what to tell you Hopefully, you'll figure something out. This is definitely a hard position he's in. But remember, you always get back up. That plant looks like it has problems. Does that mean it's gonna die? Well, what do you think, Bobby? No, because plants are resilient, which means they bounce back, just like people. Very good. Just like your dad used, used to say. He tell us it's not about how many times you fall, but how many times you get back up. This is your time to shine and get back up, my boy. Not how many times you fall, but how many times you back up. How to make videos on YouTube. YouTube provides everything. If you guys want to learn how to do something, go on YouTube. If you guys want to learn how to do reaction videos, go on YouTube. Thumbnails, YouTube. Go, you figure it out. Kid you not. For old people. TikTok as well be doing the same thing. Oh, uh, hello, your honor. I'm here with the hopes of regaining full custody of my grandchildren, Ocean and Bobby. If you don't mind me asking, is there a reason why their parents can't take care of them? Now we're gonna hear the story of what happened. Well, their mother hasn't been in the picture since they were born. And their father, my son, he, uh, he's not around anymore.
kid you not, I'm so against people being on their phones while driving, man. Like, all that stuff that's on your phone can wait till you're not driving. Just like that, your life is gone, bro. He passed away in a car accident. And uh, that's how I became their guardian. They don't have anybody else. So you see, these kids have lost so much already. They don't need to lose me too. I'm very sorry for all your loss. But unless you can prove that you can provide for these kids, I can't give you custody back. Have you gotten a job yet? Well, no. Self-employed, my boy. And I'm sorry, but without any income, I'm afraid I'm going to have to declare. Oh, wait, wait. I have income. In fact, I have lots of income. Look. You made $10,000. From YouTube? By teaching people how to garden. It's funny when you see people's faces, because I'm not going to lie, I've had to provide proof of income as well, and I say I'm self-employed. What do you do for a living? Blase, blase, you feel me? And then they want to see proof of income, they get all shocked, bro. The kids got me started, and I learned the rest on my own. I should have more money coming in next month. Wow. You went from losing your job to making six figures. I don't even know how that's possible. He's very resilient. That's how. I am well, too. You're certainly right about that. Okay. From what I've seen here, gotta be resilient. There's to no make reason the children shouldn't be with their grandpa. I hereby declare that custody be reinstated to you effective immediately. Yes, sir. Court is adjourned. Hey kiddos, what you got there? Mm -hmm. Smiley face. <laughs> yeah. Wonder what they made. PB and J. A tomato sandwich. Uh, a tomato we picked the tomatoes and cut them ourselves. Ooh, yum yum yum! You did. Watching gardening with Grandpa has really paid off. Mm -hmm. Oh, your dad would be really proud of you. Now, come on here. I noticed that some of the tomatoes were gone, but let's finish getting the rest of them. How about that? Okay. Okay, dokie. So at the end of the day, YouTube saved everything, man. And honestly, YouTube saved my life. I am not going to cap to y'all. YouTube has saved me. Because if I wasn't doing YouTube, bruh, I honestly do not know where I would be at because of certain life experiences I have gone through. Like, I, I could go on all day about it. And one day, I think I'll be more open in regards to what takes place in my life. But until that point, y'all just going to have have to hear me throw out a little hints here and there throughout these reaction videos, man. But, hey, if y'all made it to the end, I do greatly, greatly appreciate it, man. Smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and click that bell while you're at it. Till next time, I'm going to see y'all next time. I'm out.